I'm Ellie Marine, and I'm the Closet Quilter. Welcome to the closet. Um, I'm here today. I am starting on another baby blanket with Minky on the back. This is Minky is a little different than the other one. It's a lot more fuzzy. Um, so this is the top that I want to do. Um, and this is the Minky, and I'm going to put um, batting in there, a cotton batting, I believe. So um, that'll be nice, but um, I just wanted to go over with you some considerations I have. Okay, I put this up on the uh, design board and I went as low as I possibly could. I don't know if you can see this, okay? There's about this much space at the bottom, which is okay. And there's lots of room on the sides. Now, why didn't I turn it? Um, the reason is, is that Leia Day suggests having the stretch across the top here, going this way. So I, um, that's what I had to do. So I brought it down as low as I possibly could because it'll probably take up some of that. And um, I do have over the top handles. So I have a Cunique machine so I can hang it over the top. And I need this extra backing and batting um, to act as a leader cloth. So I don't have to put my big leader cloth on there um, for such a short project. What I'll do is I will uh, stitch in the ditch and stabilize the entire quilt because when you're dealing with Minky, it's real slippery and that's really the best practice with Minky is to stabilize as much as possible. Um, I will tack the top first, okay, with my, um, I have a micro stitch gun and I do that first when I put the batting on, I'll, I'll tack it with my micro stitch gun and then I will place it on the hoop frame and smooth it out and start the stitch in the ditch. Um, that's my plan and let's get to it. Thanks for stopping by. Give a thumbs up and please comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I hope you have a great quilting day and thanks for stopping by the Closet Quilter.